a very small sparrow with one sparrow is there with very complete dark blue color very beautiful who gives this lovely colors to the sparrow and very tiny and very small sparrow speaks in such a musical way in in a constant manner but for that you must have time you must have your ear you must have that taste you must have that feelings very small sparrow speaks in such a way that it it has a certain music in her voice so uh, kits is a very short lived poem poet and wrote beautiful odes on nature and he was famous for his odes and that line is very famous beauty is truth truth beauty that is all you should know beauty is truth what is truth of what is beauty of life beauty of life is this nature nature is a beauty for poet nature is life what is the truth of life if we ask this question to common men they would say getting money getting service studying good yeah we know this is common question this is common answers but for a poet what is the truth of life is beauty is the truth of life and especially for kids beauty is truth and truth is beauty truth beauty beauty is truth you all know and you should know so this is the message given by kids the interesting romantic poet so after kids we should go to shelly shelly is also having a very short life shelly's uh, time is 1792 to 1822 shelly uh, wrote ode to the west wind to a skylark the sensi then queen mab the revolt of islam prometheus unbound and one beautiful elegy adonis is a very famous elegy written by shelley on his friendship on his friend kits shelley was an admirer of kits shelley attended funeral of kits and shelley was good friend of byron also because shelley uh, paid tribute to kits in his famous elegy adonis friends do you know what is elegy elegy means a poem written on the death of someone who is near to our heart whether the person is our beloved friend philosopher or anyone who is near and dear to our heart 
There are many famous elegies in English. Milton wrote Lycidas. Shelley wrote Adonis. In Adonis, he paid tribute to his friend, to his idol, Kits. That here lies a person, here lies a man who is no more. But death is dead, not he, in that famous elegy, Shelley says, when he paid tribute to kids, when he saw the burial of kids, he said, for kids, for this man, death is dead, not he. He means kids. Here, kids is not dead. He is live. He is live in our heart. He is present in this world. He is everywhere because he has got that tremendous effect on literature. He has got tremendous power of writing such poetry. So, Shelley paid a very good tribute to kids by writing elegy, Adonis. And Shelley gave his house to Byron. Byron was also friend of Shelley. He gave his house on rent to Byron. And Byron lived for some years in that house. And Shelley had got influence over Byron that Byron wrote Don Juan, his very famous work, Byron's famous work, Don Juan, is due to Shelley, influence of Shelley on Byron. <coughs> so, Shelley has a good friendship with Kitts and Byron. Now, before we go to Byron, we have to think about a little rebel among the Romantics. A little different figure among the Romantics in phase two. Do you know that poet who has dual personality? He is a romantic poet, but he has different personality. That is, his name is W. B. Yeats. W. B. Yeats is also a romantic poet. But Yeats was a modern poet also. Certain complexity, we can't say that artificiality, but modernism is in, in poetry, which we had in Ezra Pound, T.S. Eliot and other modern poets, that the beginning of modernism in poetry, we can have a link, we can have a preface 
in the poetry of W. B. Yeats. When we read his Byzantium, it is a very complicated poem. Byzantium. In Byzantium, Yeats talk about. He talks about nature also. but his approach is different than the approach of wordsworth coleridge shelley kits his looking is different his language is different his imagination is different certain complexities of ideas certain modern approach modern imagination we can find in yeats's poetry so uh, there is a beautiful word in english ambiguity ambiguity is a very near to complex complexities so we can say yeats is an ambiguous romantic romantics yeats is a romantic poet but with modernism with ambiguity so this sort of complexities of imagination made yeats difficult to understand it's not easy to read byzantium of yeats as we read the prelude or the daffodils or the lake poetry of the romantics it is easy to read or to a grecian urn to the grecian urn or to the sky, sky lark it is very easy to read the poem of lyrical ballads because when we read that poetry we feel that it is our language it is something that we want to say it is something it is our imagination poet is talking about our feelings so the common common person is connected with the poetry of wordsworth coleridge coleridge is a bit little complicated but wordsworth has a pure poetry of common man and yes friends wordsworth was given the award of poet laureate for more than 10 years wordsworth was poet laureate it's a very great achievement for a poet to be poet laureate so it is very interesting to compare yeats with wordsworth coleridge byron shelley kits i think yeats stands in the middle from pope dryden and this side wordsworth coleridge and others because in yeats's poetry that artificiality is also not there of pope and dryden because pope wrote one poem on the theft of the lock of the hair the rape of the lock one beautiful woman who is having a lovely hair 
and her fan one man took her lock her hair tapped her hair so it's a very very small thing but pope described in such a manner that is that it has become a great poem and he described belinda her beauty her beautiful hair he even described her toilet and in such a way such a greek in a such a greek style gothic style that when he describes we feel that we have entered into greek mythology so that polishedness in the language of yeats's poetry is not there so yeats is in the middle of modernism and romanticism so in this way uh, wordsworth coleridge byron shelley kits they are very famous romantic poets in the second phase of romanticism the beginners were gray collins burns and william black the first phase the beginners and these are the second phase especially shelley kits and byron they are in the second stage of romantic poetry so in the last way byron was also very famous for his romantic poetry for don juan and other works but the foundation put by wordsworth coleridge and shelley was so strong that romantic poetry became very famous in english literature thank you friends for listening me Sandham All Gujarat Integrated Classroom Satellite na madhyam thi jodti kadi 